Hello, my loves, and welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. If you're meeting for the first time, my name is Jessica Alexandria, and if you're old friends and family to me and the YouTube channel, welcome back. So as you guys can see, and as you guys can hear, I'm currently in my backyard. I have with me a red pepper. This pepper was actually from last night's dinner. So good. I've actually gotten in the habit of taking, or trying to at least, setting the intention and then trying to follow up on this, try to take the seeds from the foods that I enjoy the most and then replanting them so that I can add on to my garden in a way that is affordable, efficient, practical, and also exciting. So I wanted to do something different today and invite you guys to hang out with me while I do an activity like this because it feels very nour nourishing to my soul and I have a message that I wanna share with you guys. There is gonna be some noise. Franklin is right over my shoulder. The chickens are down at my feet and there is a pecking order. Sometimes you'll hear the top chickens, the top head chickens, they decide it, not me, kind of picking at the youngers or the inferiors, I guess. So you'll hear that. Also, there have been a few hawks that have been circling in the neighborhood lately. You'll hear them spook, especially if you see a shadow fly right over my head. Usually that shadow is harmless. It could be like a blue jay. That was my chicken hitting the camera. It could be a blue jay. It could be a cardinal. It could be a finch. It could be a pigeon. It doesn't matter. Chickens, as soon as they see that shadow, they call out to each other. They send the alarm and everyone panics and they go, they freeze or go into hiding. So you might see that as we're spending time here today now. So uh, the message, right? The message, you're here for the message. Yesterday, I posted about divinely appointed marriages and union. This message was directed not just to those who are seeking, seeking union and seeking relationships, but those who are currently married, well, someone who is currently married or some ones who are currently married and their relationship, their marriage might be in a, might be in a difficult uh, season in their life. Today, I was getting ready for, like during my meditation, and I was reminded of the feeling, the vibe, the message that I got months ago, or maybe a couple months ago, when it comes to those who are single and dating in today's times. And if you're wondering why I'm holding red solo cups, it's because I'm gonna be planting the seeds in the red solo cups. And I have a scoop here that I'm gonna be taking the dirt and pouring it into each of the cups. This message again was intuitively inspired, not necessarily today, but from conversations of things that I've already meditated on prior. And I felt very called to share that message with you now today. So if you're willing to sit down and hang out with me, we can go ahead and talk about it. I understand that today's dating times is very, very difficult. It's very difficult for a multitude of reasons. I don't know if I would call this a, a season where people really are respecting or honoring dating and courting in the way that they have in the past. Dating has kind of shifted a lot. It has looked very, um, ugh. that was a worm. Hi, Mizzy. I knew it was gonna happen. <laughs> They're like, and exactly what is this? I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish my train of thought. Guys, as much as I love to work with dirt, I don't bang with worms. <laughs> I just think they're so like, oh. You guys wanna see a chicken? Ah, it's lavender. This is my home girl. I feel like dating lately has been so interesting. I don't feel like it's approached the same way that it has in the past. This is good and bad. Like I can see the highlights and I can see the negatives. The highlights are that people who are choosing to participate in dating, they are in a position where they are more empowered. And from, from, from a topical level, like on a superficial level, we are more apt now to ask for what it is that we want and need. And we are very aware of 
the fact that we don't have to settle. There are a lot of distractions. It is my goal to get this message out to you guys today. Right, Lavender? I just wanna say that if you are someone who really, really wants depth in a relationship, there are people, there are definitely people out there who want the same thing as you. You wouldn't know that, you wouldn't see that just from, from the surface level, especially if you're on dating apps, which I do wanna say seems like a very convenient way to date, but you're gonna have to sort through a lot of what is out there, who is out there dating. Having said that, there is someone out there who, and multitude of people, I think that the, a, lot, a lot of people actually do want partnership and union, but you wouldn't see it from the surface level. I believe that setting intention for what it is that you want in a relationship is very, very important. Knowing what it is that you want so that you can set the intention for the relationship or a relationship is very important. Expectations are very important. So is not settling and just picking whatever is thrown at you. With all of those things said in mind, every single one of those things should be balanced. In order for you to actually get what it is that you are wanting and that which you desire. Now in the last video that I posted up about divine union, the message was, and the timing of this is really interesting, the message was that what you, what you need might not necessarily look like what you think you want, but then when you get what you need, you start to want what you need. I see that also with the dating realms, but before we get to that, before we get to that place, we have to get first through what dating looks like. Now, I think all of us can agree that dating in today's times is trash right? That's BFF Jess saying that, not spiritual Jess. BFF Jess will say that dating these days kind of seems a little trashy, not in the sense of how people show up, but the way that it's kind of handled, it almost to me looks like people are mishandling. It would be one thing and I can respect it a little bit more if it actually matched what I think people genuinely want, but I don't think that the way that people date these days or the way that people show up for each other these days or meet each other because it's not really dating doesn't really reflect their intention and their true heart and that's why I say this ain't it because then it's not authentic it's not moving with integrity from my experience and from what I've heard a lot of people um, do want the same things when it comes to union they just feel like what they're looking for isn't out there do you kind of see the the difference there between the majority of people kind of saying like this is what I'm looking for but I'm not finding it and then the places that they're but the way that they move and the way that collectively as a society the way that we're moving doesn't match what we want it doesn't match it's not moving with integrity integrity means that my actions what i say what i do matches what it is that is my intention what it is that i want there's a discrepancy there so i'm saying this to you now to let you know that if you are someone who is dating for depth do know that the odds are actually in your favor because if we peel back the layers, if we dig to the bottom of the, <laughs> the red solo cup that's filled with dirt, you'll find that there's a lot of people who want what you want. And if you are someone who shows up with intention, balance expectations, and not settling, you will get that which you're looking for. The next part that I wanna share with you guys is that if you, sh if you know what you want, which we'll talk about that, if you know what you want and you're putting it out there and you're stating it, and that's your energy, that's your vibe, you will naturally begin to attract or draw out of another person, whoever it is that you're meeting, the parts of them that wants the same thing, right? If you know what you want, if you've set the ex expectation, you decided not to settle and just choose the first thing that, that falls into your lap, you will naturally, more often than not, draw out that the part of that person that wants the same thing, you'll begin to see it. How do you do this? You do this by not demanding your expectations, but simply stating it and staying in a space of joy, levity, and flow. What I love about our society is that we are, and we have been going with the flow when it comes to dating, but we've almost flowed too hard, right? So there's gotta be some balance here. 
And for a terrible metaphor, but I'm gonna use it anyways, I'm gonna think of dating as like poop, literally like poop. If you're too solid and you're too dense and you're too stiff with your expectations and your appearance and your approach to dating, like this is what I want, I want marriage, I deserve this, 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 which are all accurate things that you do deserve. You do deserve to go to nice places. You do deserve to have honest communication, commitment, et cetera, et cetera. You deserve all of those things, of course. Whatever it is that you expect or whatever it is that you want out of a relationship, hopefully they're healthy, you deserve that. At the same time, if you're too loose, right? If you don't really have boundaries and if you don't really have expectations and if you're not really expecting to get much out of it outside of quick intimacy, a, a, a meal, attention, whatever the case is, you're it's too loose and that becomes a problem all in itself. You can't get what it is that you actually genuinely want, which is a nice solid stool that easily passes through. I can't believe I'm using this metaphor, but I hope you guys get my drift here. Also, my mom is a nurse she's an acupuncture doctor but she also practices western medicine and she started her journey around my well before before my age i'm older than her when she had me um but she started her journey as a nurse so i tend to think sometimes in medical <laughs> medical metaphors because my mom has done it and it just runs right through me as well like that's just kind of how it flows so pardon pardon the uh the the details i guess Anyway, the, 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 the goal is to get that nice, fine, in-between balance so that you can have what it is that you desire, that healthy partnership, divine union. So what do you do? You start to approach dating knowing that there's opportunity for you, very high chance and opportunity for you to find exactly what it is that you are looking for, that which you desire. You have the expectation of what it is that you would like to get out of this and the hope of what it is that you want to get out of it. But knowing that in order to get to that higher expectation, that next level, we would have to then be open and flowing enough to date, to meet with play, with openness. This means that when you meet someone, you might not necessarily choose Whoever it is that you're meeting, you might not necessarily be choosing them based upon physical, immediate physical attraction or sex appeal. You, even though you're setting the expectation that you want to meet your partner or you want to date, those things are beautiful. It's not that you won't find it. It's not that you won't, you just don't know, you might not know exactly where it is that, that it's gonna come from. So if we take our expectation away from what it is that we want for ourselves ultimately, which is I'm gonna find my partner, I'm gonna know I'm gonna know them as soon as I see them, and put the expectation to I'm going to date with an open mind and the willingness to learn and to play and to explore and to look at every single moment as a teaching moment, teaching me how to meet a person that I would just I would think is a good idea to date or that I would like to date or maybe learn something about someone else or learn something about myself as I'm dating, as I'm spending time with others, I promise you, you are going to get so much more out of the dating process than you're automatically assuming that you know what you're looking for and exactly what it looks like. I hope that makes sense. What ends up happening is that you've set the intention. So spirit, the universe, magic is moving and flowing and will honor the fact that you want relationships, connection, and union in your life. It will honor that and allow the universe to allow things to just kind of flow into alignment, into accordance in order to help that to happen. You are flowing enough so that you've released your expectation that as soon as I know it, I'll see it. And it gives you all the opportunity and the potential to enjoy the process, but to also learn. In all of this, I believe that who your person is, who you end up dating, whether it be you're dating for marriage or you're dating just to date or dating to have intimates, you know, intimacy with someone, your options will open up greatly for not just that thing, but also a multitude of different things from friendship to business connections to alliances. When you start to put it out there to the universe, you'll start to attract all different types of things, not just the very thing that is that you're looking for, but you just need to be open. Now, dating back in the day, Lavender is, is my girl. She's just my girl. Dating back in the day. Hi, honey. 
dating back in the day looked like exploring potential options so that you could then maybe consider becoming more exclusive. And when you're exclusive, that's when you start to explore that person, right? Then when you decide like, wow, this is my person, then you're at that point, you're dating for marriage or dating for additional de depth. So the dating process, going back to square one, that looks like meeting someone for the first time or a few different times and getting to know them, talking to, talking to them, no, no intensity, no high expectations, just simple, just simple sitting in the backyard with your chickens conversing. If you find that you guys have enough to build upon, then you start to invest in that. And that would look like dinners and not just physical things that we pay for, but, oh my goodness, girl, you just threw yourself into the abyss. Not just physical things that is that you pay for, but investing in your emotional self. Because that's what, another thing that I've noticed is that people sometimes who want depth in their relationships, they almost rush into the intimate part of sharing when that's not necessarily appropriate in that time because you're still getting to know that person and that's where healthy boundaries should step forward. So the first dating part, the first process of dating should be very light or it's, it's um, encouraged in order for it to be healthy for it to be very light in nature. So you could go get coffee and minimal, minimal energy. You don't have to show up and be dolled up. You just show up as yourself. You're getting coffee, you're getting, you're going bowling, you're going for a walk on the beach, you say goodbye. Second part of that, when you start realizing after a few of those small dates, you know what, I'm starting to like this person, I'd like to take you out on like a genuine date, and that's where that's where a little bit more effort goes in. That's something that I'm sure maybe you guys would have talked about in the dating process, right? So you guys are on the same page. The next level of dating is going out to dinner, spending more time together, putting more effort into your appearance, actually, wearing something nicer than what you would normally wear. And then eventually a few of those can lead into maybe considering becoming exclusive because you've learned enough about this person that you're like, now I wanna explore you a little more. Now I'd like to get to know you better. And all of this, I do wanna say too, the disclaimer that we live in a time where in all of this, you could choose to have intimacy with your partner. I don't think that it necessarily will always set things up to spiral, but when you think about getting to know someone not just to date but even in friendships sometimes it can be a little bit it can be a hindrance to give all of yourself whether that be your emotions your trauma your baggage so to speak like the things that we carry within us our bones over to another person including our bodies it can create some like a jump from one step to the next step and sometimes it makes it more difficult to backtrack and to fill in the spots in between. Now I know that that's gonna be a trigger point for some people. Some people are gonna be like, Jess, I disagree with you. That makes me upset, that makes me enraged. I understand and I'm not here to disagree for the sake of, or debate, you know, with you on that. I think everybody's story is gonna be different and one day maybe I'll tell you about my, <laughs> my dating history um, yeah, I just, <laughs> I just uh, zoned out there for a little bit just thinking about it. But um, anyway, moving forward, if you set the intention for what it is that you would like and you don't necessarily pin it down so tight into what you think it'll look like and you start to say yes or start to pursue or start to open up or begin to scroll through dating apps for potentials, not to find what it is that you ultimately will marry or or partner with or be boyfriend girlfriend with or girlfriend girlfriend or boyfriend boyfriend with not to get to that point but just to be like i'm putting it out there but in the meantime i'm gonna literally enjoy this process you being able to enjoy the process and see this oh like i may not necessarily be so attracted to this person but there was something about them that was intriguing to me there's something about their character there's something about their history there's something about their job that i found was interesting and i would like to talk to them about this you are going to get so much out of this. Not only are you going to end up with your per your person, your partner, but you will also find friends, you'll find connections, you'll find help, you'll be building community. I will say this too, back in the day when I was dating, you guys know I'm in a relationship right now, one of the things that really helped me 
in dating was really expanding my horizon. Of course, I knew exact, I knew ultimately what it is that I wanted and I knew ultimately what it is that I was looking for, but I wasn't trying to find it in every single person or the person that it was that I was agreeing to meet with for coffee, for tea, for a walk in the park. And ultimately, I wanna tell you that it opened up every single date for the most part, really opened up an, a, an opportunity for me to develop that relationship further if I chose to, or to leave it and have I've developed myself. And I wanna to say too that back in the day and still to this day, I'm socially awkward, you know what I mean? So going on these dates and not putting so much pressure on the date or myself to go well and just to show up and be like, we're just trying a new spot or we're just trying something that I wanted to, you know, wanted to do, ax throwing, whatever the case, maybe don't do that on the first date, especially if you don't know the person because that could be tricky. Um, especially in today's time, <laughs> you don't know what you're getting into. <laughs> Maybe just stick with coffee or tea or something or go for a walk in a place that's brightly lit and there's public, there's people in the public around. Or maybe do a Zoom date, distance, right? So what I'm trying to say is, because I know this is very long at this point, is that there are a lot of people, more people than you think, right? There's more people than you think that want what you want, but you wouldn't see it on the surface level sometimes just showing up with your own intention and your own medium level expectations and an openness to where this can go will literally draw that same energy out of everyone that is that you meet not just one or two or a few but almost every single person i guarantee it i promise you if not for dating forever then friendship or or connection or some type of exchange from what they know or knowledge or wisdom or whatever the case is, it, it ends up opening the door. In all of this, take your time. Take your time, try to not put so much pressure on yourself to get things right, to have an answer, to know what's going to happen next. Take all of that pressure off of yourself and just allow yourself to show up. It is an achievement, it is an accomplishment when you meet some a new face, you meet a new person, and you have good conversation, and then you say goodbye and you move on with your life or keep, keep in contact, and there's that. And I just wanna say that when you're dating for something that you want that's significant, it's very exciting to get to the finish line of I found my person and this is who they are and this who, this is who I've been waiting for. Like you are who I've been waiting for. That's very exciting. But it can also put a lot of pressure on you in order to find that person. And that pressure can act as a blockage to you, to you guys coming together or being able to see the light within each other. So I know it's hard, I know it's difficult, but try to have fun in the dating process and you will find that which you seek and a whole, a whole lot more. I'm really hoping that this message has been helpful. I do wanna say that it was difficult getting it out because there are so many distractions right now. Um, I knew that when I came out here, but I didn't know to what extent the distractions were gonna look like. Also, it is still early in the morning and I have cloudy, um, like foggy, foggy brain in the morning, which is a good thing when it comes to meditation that's why I do my meditations in the morning, but it's bad when you're trying to complete a train of thought or articulate yourself and, and say it <laughs> say it to your friends on the internet. So that's usually why I wait until after two o'clock to get those messages out, that which I channeled from my meditation from foggy brain morning. So I hope that this passed over in the way that it was intended to. I hope that it was helpful. I know that some of you guys may disagree with me and that is okay. And I know that a lot of you guys will agree with me and maybe feel excited and empowered for what's to come when it comes to your dating realms, or maybe you've already been practicing this. And I genuinely would like to hear your experiences with dating these days. Do you find that, ooh, a squirrel. Hi. So cute. Sometimes they know, they see the chickens and they would like to partake. partake and some oatmeal and some cantaloupe. Wow, I am so distracted. Um, what have you, 
what have been your experiences with dating? Have has it been uplifting? What do you what have you been finding? How have you been dating? What have you been choosing to date? Like, are you using apps? Are you using word of mouth? Have you ever done a matchmaker? These are I love conversations about dating, by the way. Um, and what has your what have your experiences been like? For those of you guys that are actually in relationships, how did you meet your person? Last video I did. Last video I did, I um, someone was in a someone DM'd me and was just like, I met my partner randomly, and I was just like, How did you guys meet? I love those stories of how you met your person. Um, I do want to say too, are you for those people who are date like are in separation with people, like people that they think is their person? Would you be open if you're in separation? Would you be open to dating others? while you're in separation at this moment in time or are you exclusively holding yourself off for that person there's no right or wrong answers i'm just asking and what is how is i just want to i that's it what's your what would you say is your openness or unopen like what level of openness are you at to meeting a person meeting the person of your life are you open, like the love of your life, are you open to intimacy? Or you're not open to connections at all? The intimacy question might be a little bit too intimate, like too private, and I respect that too, so you don't have to answer that. Feel free to answer whatever, but I would just like to open the conversation up in the comments. Also, thank you guys for sitting with me with all of the madness going on. I know that this video is a little bit longer than usual, um, and definitely different for my channel, but I just knew that I wanted to come on here plant some seeds with you guys and uh, Chit chat. I know it's not a prophetic message a hundred percent prophetic message that it's more my conversations with um, Friends and family and clients from prior and my own little mini rev revelations which are traditional in a sense, but I think helpful and beneficial. They have been helpful and beneficial to me. And also when I pass those that information over to my clients, when they work with me with dating, um, it's been helpful for them in finding dating partner, not just their not just their person that they're gonna live the rest of life, their life with, but friendships and connections. I think you'd be really surprised the package, the package that it'll come in. And the package AKA is a person, you know, you just never know. So I will keep you guys posted on the growth of these red pepper plants. I think I'm gonna keep them, actually no, I was gonna keep them out here, but the truth is, is that little squirrel is gonna dig in and try to get these seeds out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this pepper for her, for her to do with it what she will. And I'm gonna move the singing bowl over here so it doesn't scare her. In the meantime, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel. If there's other conversations or topics that you would like to discuss, please let me know down below. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.